favorite player is Steph Curry. Clay Thompson. Congratulations, Clay. <laughs> Golden State Zaza Pachulia is not even his kid's favorite player. And to some, he is the dirtiest player in the NBA. Today, Zaza, who denies said title, is getting in touch with his softer side, a trip across the bay to a museum. First thing he tried was Luffer Grant, right? And he fell. Nobody knew back then, but their whole world knows him now, even though he failed on the first try. Like many free afternoons, Zaza is with his children and his wife Tika, whom he met 11 years ago after watching her dance with the Georgian National Ballet. Have you ever tried to work with Zaza and his footwork? He's the worst dancer. <laughs> you can never see. <laughs> he, he can move. He can't move? <laughs> no. So is that why he has trouble sometimes on the court? Yeah, I think so. He's a little clumsy. Yeah, his feet don't move. <laughs> clumsy? or malicious. A jury of his peers has already weighed in. And this particular individual has a history with that kind of action. This is crap. Did you get his attention? Did you see it? What did it look like? That's Zaza making a, a Zaza play. What do you think are the biggest misconceptions about you as a player? Huh. Yeah, well, we all know that. Um, Unfortunately, this didn't happen last year. It was very unfortunate, um, but it happens every day. So last year with Kawhi, that wasn't intentional? Absolutely not. And Absolutely not. this year with Russ mm -hmm. was not intentional? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. I mean, you know, no, no brainer, you know. Westbrook forced that one up. Bodies falling on the floor. Westbrook still down the other end. I felt somebody pushing me, and I realized it was my teammate Nick Young's foot, like kind of got pulling me. Fortunately, I fell on uh, the Russ uh, leg, but maybe it was, it was a pretty smart move by him, blaming on me that I was trying to hurt him, where they lost pretty good, you know, more than 20 points. He didn't perform well that game, so maybe he was trying to hide. I mean, nobody wants to talk about these kind of things. Leonard fires from the corner. And Leonard goes down again. And he's in pain again in front of the Spurs bench. You got death threats. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, the worst thing was when my family got, got involved, you know, and especially hit those kids were totally innocent. This last year was really hard, honestly. I'm not going to lie. It was a really difficult time. First time we experienced that kind of hate. Uh, so it was spread around us. They had uh, extra security because I know when you're getting messages like that, I, I think it's a protocol to do that. The Kawhi Leonard incident occurred just months after a big collision with Russell Westbrook. He hit me on the heart, but sorry, I'm going to get his back. And when you were standing over him, what was going through your mind? I saw that we had a foul to give. It was only 30-something seconds left. Obviously, knowing his tendencies, he's so explosive. Once he takes off, it's hard to stop him. So my man ran out to for the pick and roll, and I just tried to follow him. So when I was standing in front of him, he believed he, he flopped, and he just fell down. So I was staring at him. I say, dude, come on, man. I came. It wasn't that hard. I, like, you know, I'm Carl. Of course, I'm standing there, but you're coming towards me. So he just, like, collision, and, you know, he just fell. And, of course, no, people can't read what, what's going on in my heart or in my brain. And uh, I look bad, you know. The, of course, I'm the dirtiest play, <laughs> player in this world. So uh, this what happened. Obviously, we moved on. There's one thing I regret in my career where when I was in Dallas, uh, this first time I'm saying it, and it happened with Kawhi, I felt frustration, you know, we kind of, it was loose ball, we go for the ball and I hold his arm and uh, no excuse, right? And I, I admit it, it, it was a wrong play by me. This is the only one thing I regret in my career. We all make mistakes. I mean, you know, you make mistakes on the court, you make mistakes off the court. Uh, again, you admit it, you think about it yourself, you know what, it wasn't right, move on, right? Make sure it doesn't happen again. This is the only thing I regret uh, in my career. And so there it is. The mystery behind Zaza's perceived evilness, he says not evil at all, well, except for that one time. The 2018 playoffs are now upon us, sure to be filled with more drama. But for Zaza, today anyway, 
It's just another day with his family at the museum.